Okay, quick update on this uh, instrumentation thing that I've been working on. Uh, I guess the most notable addition is this uh, barometric pressure sensor. Uh, I thought this one had a pressure sensor on it, but it doesn't. Uh, so I got this uh, this one and, and wired it to the uh, I squared C bus as well. This one also has a built-in uh, altitude calculation. You uh, you feed it the uh, the pressure. Uh, it's uh, very similar to how you would do it on a uh, uh, on your altimeter in your plane, and it will uh, automatically uh, calculate the altitude. And it's very accurate. It's showing. Uh, uh, 355 and and that's about the uh, the altitude that I'm at right now. Uh, I haven't set the uh, uh, the correct barometric pressure, so it, it is a little off. So anyway, uh, as you can see, I've gotten uh, uh, some uh, software work done. Uh, if I can get it to uh, focus properly on the screen, uh, it doesn't show the colors on the screen very well. They're they're, they're extremely vibrant, but this this screen draws very slow, so it, it's not useful for uh, you know real-time updates it's just kind of you know is it working is it not working uh, that sort of thing and I can uh, uh, scroll through the the different settings so that's the uh, pedostatic uh, sensor that's uh, this guy here uh, that's the that uh, S is uh, speed and the T is temperature in degrees Celsius uh, I uh, deliberately left the uh, speed as as a raw number the calculation to uh, convert the impact pressure and the difference on the uh, pitot tube just doesn't work out real well on, on here. I think I thought it would be better just to leave the raw number and feed that to uh, uh, to the tablet and let the tablet uh, figure out what the uh, the actual uh, airspeed is. Uh, so that raw number is basically uh, you know an integer difference. <laughs> Uh, uh, it's as simple as that. It's the you know the difference between uh, the impact pressure and the static pressure, and the 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 tablet will have to figure out what that number actually means. So anyway, uh, the next page. So that is the uh, magnetic uh, uh, the magnetometer the the axes of the magnetometer. This uh, display on the bottom, uh, it's doing some trigonometry internally and figuring out from. Uh, those values that are in micro Teslas, uh, what the actual uh, heading in degrees is, uh, and if I point this uh, roughly north, you know it should be somewhere, you know, around 350 zero something like that. It takes a while for it to update. There we go. So now I'm pointed uh, uh, almost uh, true north, and you can see it's it's uh, reading 2.3 degrees. Uh, I'm uh, I'm very happy with the, uh, how uh, accurate the magnetometer is. Uh, it'll be interesting to uh, to kind of drive around with it and uh, maybe even in the plane and uh, and see how close it is to the uh, the actual compass. So this next page is uh, the uh, attitude, uh, the the three spatial axes. Uh, those are kind of self-explanatory. And this uh, next page here is the uh, accelerometer readings. Uh, you can see because it's not hardly moving, there, there's very little uh, uh, change in the uh, in the axes. But if I if I move it around, uh, it doesn't update very fast. But if I move it around uh, and then wait for it to uh, to display the the current reading, you can see that uh, you know the acceleration has increased quite a bit. So next page and the next page is the uh, g-force readings of the three uh, spatial axes and this page is displaying the output of that barometric pressure uh, sensor uh, the uh, first reading is the uh, current barometric pressure uh, the second reading is the uh, calculated altitude and the third is the uh, temperature and in case you're wondering why I'm not sweating, that temperature reading isn't correct. I, for some reason, the temperature uh, sensor on that, I can't get a, a, a valid reading off of it. Uh, I don't really care because uh, uh, both of the other two sensors also have temperature sensors on them. And they're, uh, they're very close to, uh, to true, so uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, maybe it works, maybe I'm just not reading it correctly, but... It doesn't matter because I've I've got two others anyway. So anyway, uh, that's where I'm at right now. There there's some other you know functions that I've added to this. 
uh, just to, to make it uh, useful in the field. Uh, it'll uh, display uh, uh, if you really want to do it by hand. You know, you can you can set the uh, the pressure to the uh, altimeter on here. Normally, I'll have uh, that software integrated in the tablet, so you never have to go through the pain of uh, doing this by hand. But you can uh, you know bump it up with this joystick. Uh, I've deliberately had the update of this screen very slow. Uh, the screen, the, the there's nothing I can do about the drawing rate. So you had updated to 29.99. Uh, there's nothing I can do about the uh, uh, the refresh rate uh, because it's not like an HDMI monitor. It's just going through the GPIO pin, so uh, you know that's about as fast as it's ever going to be. Uh, <clears throat> but but it does work, and it, it's good enough for in the field. And it fits nicely over the uh, you know the the Raspberry Pi Zero W. <clears throat> and uh, for anybody who uh, isn't aware of the Zero W, uh, it has a Wi-Fi, and this is right now nothing's listening to it, but it is sending out uh, a bunch of packets with all this information on a UDP port, very similar to how the the Stratix and and several others work. Uh, uh, it's the same idea. It's just sending. Uh, broadcast packets with the uh, with all the sensor data uh, on a UDP port. Then if I press that, it uh, commits it to the uh, the sensor, and then it starts redoing its altitude calculation. And then once it gets out, it just goes back to the uh, the page that it was on. So. Uh, I think that's about it. Uh, uh, I need to do some uh, some testing uh, as far as uh, speed goes uh, to make sure that I'm uh, translating the, the numbers uh, coming out of uh, this uh, pedostatic tube uh, that they're actually correct and uh, you know verifiable and reliable. <clears throat> uh, I haven't done much of the math for that yet. Everything else is is working. This is ready to to kind of be taken apart. And, and put it in a more of a, uh, a permanent uh, fixture. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is just kind of line all these up uh, in, uh, in series uh, and just make kind of like a spear shaped thing uh, and make a case out of uh, Kydex and, and of course have this uh, you know tube sticking out the front for the, uh, the pedo and basically have it so I can uh, use a, a GoPro uh, mount to, uh, to just mount it underneath the, uh, the wing uh, just like you would a, 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 like a GoPro. Uh, right now, this is uh, uh, running off of the uh, battery, and I have had uh, quite a bit of uh, chance to uh, to just run this straight off the battery, and it will. Uh, I haven't actually let it uh, run all the way down, but it will run for hours and hours and hours and hours uh, on that battery. I probably went uh, a little nuts with the the size of that battery. It probably doesn't need to be that big, but uh, uh, it's not. Uh, uh, it's not ridiculously big. I, I might scale it down uh, once I realize, once I figure out exactly how how long it's going to last. But uh, just in testing, you know, I've had it running for uh, for hours and hours and hours, and that's a a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, and it, and it just it just keeps going and going and going. <clears throat> so uh, I think that's about it for for now. Um, my next update will probably be uh, progress on the uh, the tablet side. Uh, displaying this data, uh, my uh, plane is in uh, in for its annual right now, so I can't actually test it in the uh, in the cockpit. But uh, you know, I can test the the sensors uh, with the tablet and and kind of uh, kind of do that while I'm waiting for my waiting to get my plane back. So I think that's about it for uh, for uh, for this for now. Uh, so I'll uh, hopefully I'll have another update in uh, another week or two. Thanks for watching.